Greetings from Lviv, from Ukraine. This last three months have been very difficult. Alexandra Andriyashna is a brave figure serving on the front lines. When the war started in 2014, God opened the door for me to go to the front line as a missionary and chaplain to start churches and uh, to serve and help our uh, military guys. Many of the guys that she has led to Christ have been killed or severely wounded, and so she has literally been in the trenches. As a Calvary Chapel supported military chaplain, Sasha, as she's known, is personally experiencing the heavy toll of the war. In these three months, I have lost 22 of my friends. I never thought I would go through this in my life. As casualty figures rise, many Ukrainians continue to escape to neighboring countries. And we don't know what's going to happen in two or three months. Let's join our prayers and uh, fight the Satanism that is happening. We really, really loved the life we had in Kiev. We were excited about the things God was starting to do. We were planting a church and we were starting to see people lean in towards faith. Now based in Budapest, Hungary, Calvary Costa Mesa missionaries Sharon and George Markey have joined others to get vital supplies to those in Ukraine. We actually have a warehouse in Poland and a warehouse in Western Ukraine. We've been filling the warehouse in Poland up with food and then Ukrainian drivers pick up the supplies and take them into the areas where people need supplies. As the war goes on, food has become more and more important. We've also started to try and buy food in Ukraine from farmers and those who used to export. The other major area has been medical supplies. A lot of medication, insulin and thyroid medication, heart medicine, these continue uh, to be purchased and gathered and shipped. The relief effort comes at an incredible expense. But the Calvary Costa Mesa family continues to stand in the gap, both prayerfully and financially. Thank you to Calvary Chapel Costa Mesa for funds donated. To date, $350,000 has been collected by our congregation and, and sent towards relief. And combined with the hundreds of thousands raised by other churches, the goal is to funnel resources to churches and missionaries on the ground. There's such great need, and as we as we meet those needs, people are just um, so grateful for refugees, and it's a way to really to tangibly show them that God loves them, showing that love towards them in practical ways. Including buying military-grade medical supplies for wounded soldiers on the front lines. We were able to buy a, a pretty large amount of tourniquets and have them moved into Ukraine, and we've already been receiving a lot of thank yous for that. Now we've sent thousands of these life-saving bandages into Ukraine and they're just being sent up to uh, the frontline areas. Where they eventually end up in army units, much like the one Sasha ministers to. We do fear that as Ukraine leaves the news cycle, that people will start to feel like it's not a need anymore. A lot of us are really tired, running on empty, even more so those that are towards the front lines and those that are working to just get food and aid and medicine throughout the country. The war doesn't look like it's gonna be over anytime soon, so there's a very immediate need to get medical supplies to people to save lives. Thank you for your prayers and support and encouragements to our missionaries that are engaged in these things. Pray for my military friends. It is hard for me uh, to lose them, to really not see them around here. I have to let them go into God's hands. God bless you and, uh, and may you never feel anything like this. <laughs> <laughs>